Let's get it! That's what I want you to come up with, boss. Let's get money, boys. Hey, y'all already know what time it is. What you do, who you are, is what's gonna take. Good energy tonight, all right? Got to continue with that tomorrow. Get some stuff in, all right? Keep working mentally, physically. You guys doing great right now. Okay, keep the energy level up. Stay in it mentally. Walk through again tomorrow, and let's come back and, and, and do the same thing, all right? Make sure we're getting better. Uh, Tanner, short. The work is being put in for New Mexico. The Aggies get to play this game because of those who fight the real battle abroad. A&M will honor them with Military Appreciation Night on Saturday. My other grandfather was uh, in the uh, Army Air Corps, so he, he was flying B-17s over Germany in World War II and you know, getting kind of look back and, and reflect on, on the sacrifices that he made and, and that stuff, it's, it's incredible. So, I mean, it's, it's always great to have, a, have one day where we can sit down and, and everybody reflects on, on what, what they've done for everybody and, uh, and this country. Just having the utmost respect for, um, you know, the, 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 you know, the men that go out and put their lives on the line for this country and, you know, especially the veterans that have been able to do it as well. Um, you know, it means a lot and, uh, you know, it's definitely going to be a special moment for us. It means, like, you know, where I came from, where, you know, where America stands for, what, what my, my dad, my sister, my brother fought for, and they fought for the greater good for, for everybody on this, regardless of what color, race, everybody in this country. And um, it's, it means a lot to me. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented to you by AT&T, a proud sponsor of Texas A&M Athletics, entertainment your way. Senior night will also be celebrated on Saturday, an emotional evening for players. But high above the field, they'll run even higher in the broadcast booth. It's also Dave South's final game at Kyle Field in year 32 as the voice of the Aggies. He's told the Aggie story through three conferences, beginning with the old SWC. The 1986 uh, Texas A&M Baylor game, uh, Tony Thompson was the uh, receiver with A&M winning at 31 to, uh, to 30. And I'll never forget that play as long as I live. The move to the Big 12 provided us with his most iconic call. Going to throw here to Parker at the 20, at the 15, at the 10, at the 5. He is almost. He got a touchdown! He got a touchdown! He got a touchdown! He got a touchdown! He got it in! He got it in! He got it in! Oh, doctor! The following year gave him his most cherished moment. The 1999 Aggies triumph amid tragedy. That was, yeah, that was just real special. And they're coming up the middle. He's been stripped of the ball. Who got it? Now, I've said this before. I don't think God cares uh, who wins athletic events, but I think he cared that day. Hey, Aggie's got, got the, the ball. ball. Aggie's got the ball. That uh, Texas a and would win. I'll always remember Brian Gamble. He's on his knees down there. And on to the SEC and that magical inaugural campaign. Johnny Mansell we started looking at him for the first two or three games. You're going, that, this is something special. Drops back, backside pressure. Steps up into the pocket. He fumbled the ball. He got it back. Now he's throwing in zone. Wide open. Touchdown! Because I still say he's the greatest football player in all of my years, going back to 1970, that I think I've ever seen.
The current players can only imagine what South has seen in three decades of Aggie football. A lot of crazy finishes, I bet. Uh, wild games, 32 years, a lot of football. I say he's seen a lot of stuff and uh, great memories, bad memories, but there's a lot of history. It's going to be weird, too, listening to an Aggie game and not hearing that voice, you know. But, uh, I mean, it's definitely incredible, and I know everybody will, will be uh, excited for him and, and for, you know, how much he's done for, for this, this team. The voice, as I call it, you know, it's, it's, it's a, uh, uh, his calls are, are legendary. And, uh, you know, he, he's a guy who professionally we're friends, but uh, um, outside of that we're friends. And I think, you know, it's, it's, I think over the course of the last six years and working with the radio show and, and, and just talking with him before and doing some sound bites, um, a class act that cares deeply about Texas A&M. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it'll be a really emotional night for him. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented to you by Pepsi, official soft drink of Texas A&M athletics. Again, that opening tip tonight brought to you by AT&T. AT&T, proud partner of Texas A&M athletics, AT&T entertainment your way. Kanate will jump here against Morales, and we are about ready to get it underway, and we are, and the Aggies will get the opening tap. South's final weekend at Kyle starts early. He's at the football venue on Friday evening to call basketball remotely as the A&M squad starts their season in Germany. The next afternoon begins his final gig in his home booth. You know, really, I don't uh, expect anything out of the ordinary. Uh, I'm very uh, confident and I was uh, happy about the decision I made. Uh, and I've told other people this, that uh, I've got too many happy moments feel any more uh, sorrow or uh, emotions like that. I mean, there's, there's too many people that I've gotten to meet. And I've seen some great games. And it's really come down to relationships this late in the career. So, you know, I think that it'll be business as usual and uh, we're starting to wind it down. Uh, we'll get on the uh, motorcycle and ride up here to Kyle Field about uh, 2 o'clock. we we'll get over to the booth about 2.30. Dave, you think they come to see you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I came back for this game. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I love your inspirational stuff on Facebook. Thank you. Hope your team wins. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> for the last few years, uh, one of the fun things that I've enjoyed is that HEB, one of our sponsors, uh, has a tailgate of the week. And uh, we will award prizes for the best tailgate. See, I, I've never been to a tailgate at a football game. Oh my God, we've been a little bit. So if whoever wins, I'm going to expect an invitation to come Absolutely. to your tailgate sometime next year. I don't yeah. know if it'll be the first game or not. Yeah. All right, so uh, here is your gift basket. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Yo. And from there, uh, Tom Turbyville, Scott Glendennon have asked uh, Dave Elmendorf and I to uh, come over to the fan zone about 3.40. Um, and the four of us are going to sit there and talk. And basically, I think I'll be talking about it being the, the last home game that I'll broadcast. And, and for fans that are out there listening to you all these years, thank you for being their eyes and telling them what was happening during the Nice to see you, Scott. Aggie fans, welcome to the other side of the radio. We welcome you to the Double Dave's Pizza Works pregame show. 59, 58, 45 right now until we kick off. Log on to DoubleDave's.com to find your closest restaurant to place your order now with Dave Elmendorf and Will Johnson and the rest of our crew. I'm Dave South. We're at Kyle Field on the campus of Texas A&M University in College Station, Texas. The Aggies playing out of conference uh, this Saturday night as they take on the Lobos of New Mexico. He has to step away from his perch temporarily, however. The audience that's tuned into him for 32 years awaits one final bow on the field. Going to throw here to Parker at the 20, at the 15, at the 10, at the 5. He is all the... He got a touchdown! He got a touchdown! He got a touchdown! He got a touchdown! 
He got it in! He got it in! He got it in! Oh, doctor! Tonight, we salute Dave Sell on his final broadcast from Kyle Field. Fans, Grub Burger, your official hometown partner for Texas A&M Athletics, are proud to present tonight's honorary captain, Dave South. <laughs> Representing the true spirit of Aggieland, Dave South, an Aggie legend. How about a hand for the voice of the Aggies? The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented to you by Memorial Hermann, Advancing Health. The Cal Curtain Call for 2017. It's important the senior's final memory of this place is a victorious one. Ready to go, Nick Starkle, first place. Snap it, fake the handoff, throw it, pass is caught. And that is Jamon Osbon on the reception to throw again. It's going deep downfield. Caught inside the 15 yard line. Slip a man into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies. Christian Kirk on the reception. And the Aggies hit the Lobos for a 6 0 lead. Play action. Here is Starkle throwing. And that's a catch. And that'll be a first down across the 30. And that's Christian Kirk. First down, Texas AM. Converted on the last third with a catch by Kirk. Starkle throwing, and that Bradley had to reach up from behind, up over his left shoulder. He's cutting across the field, got a first down. Starkle steps up, going to throw. That's a catch, and that'll be a first down ball caught by Buckley, and he will carry it down to the low bowl, 35. Starkle to snap the throw at the 20 yard line and tripped up that will be Buckley again a 14 yard pickup for Buckley first down Texas A&M play action and oh, he's going to throw the ball he does out of the flat that's a good move that'll be a touchdown Texas A&M caught it at the line of scrimmage Osborne got 10 and that is a Texas A&M touchdown Javon Osborne that'll be his second touchdown of the season hey look he's about to have 200 passing yards not even eight minutes into the game Two drives and two Nick Starkle TD passes. The defense needs to put the ball right back into his hot hand. Screen tackled by Priest Willis. Now third down at 13. Wants to throw, steps up, he's under pressure, and he's going to be caught from the backside on the sprint out to the left. Justin Dunning. How about him? Caught him and took him down from behind. Play action, throwing to this side, and is he going to catch it? He does, and he'll be tackled. Ball caught by Paul, 46 yards to the 12-yard line, and the Aggies are coming right at him. Hand off, left side, going to score easily, and he does. 12 yards, keep forward, and the touchdown. Another great drive by the Aggies. Pick up the first downs when you need them on third down, and then go deep against this pressure defense. Open up like the Red Sea, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Keep playing with him. Here's the pitch going back to the left side, really stringing it out here. And the angle. Oh, what a collision that was in front of the Yankee bench. A couple of heavyweights going at it there. Oh, oh yeah. Nice replay. Woo. Bringing it out this side to the right, and there's nothing there. There's another nice hit. There, forced out of the pocket. He's going to throw it way over the thing. Yeah, I went into the stands. Nobody over there. Good, hey, keep playing. Let's go. Good job. Screen this side of the field. They read it, but we defeated it. Nice move after the catch. The ball was caught by Paul again. Starkle, back at screen to the right side. And he's got a first down. The Aggie threw that one to Kendrick Rogers. Starkle stands at, his, at the 20. Throw, catch, and a broken tackle. And inside the five of the throw, flag. And a bobble, and catching the ball, and he catch it, it was Ratley. It came free, it bobbled up in the air, and he's going down, he's looking at that ball, saying, come to Papa, and it did. Hey, what? Hey, what? You got to get here like all state, boy. I tell you that. Nice job, way to go, babe. Way to go, way to go. Four drives and four scores. 
fireworks show is nowhere close to ending. See Kirk is always good for an explosion. It's Kirk backing up over his shoulder, and here comes the return. Back to the 10, he's looked the difference as a flag now. Aggies at the 50, at the 40, at the 30. Going to get a block, he's going to go 92 yards, and he's going to score. What is that flag back at the eight yard line? There is no foul for a block in the back. yards on the punt return. Plays for somebody to open up and he throws and that is Osmond again and yet another catch. Outside pressure, Starkle lets fly. Going toward Ratley and uh, Ratley caught it! Against uh, great defense and he fought it away. And you could be, uh, do a better job than what Ratley did to bring that ball in. And you couldn't do a better job than what Starkle did. He dropped it right in there. But they are in damage control trying to keep that score from escalating anymore. Long pass. Eggs of a man backpedaling, and that is uh, an interception. It is, and that is Miles Jones. Another throw, and that's Kirk. Boy, wide open at the 40, cuts back at the 30, 25, cuts back again at the 25, at the 20, broke a tackle, and he falls down, losing his balance at the 13 yard line. Travion, seven yards and a touchdown, and the Aggies really pouring it on here tonight. Now 47 to nothing. It is raining hard on the Lobos. The Aggies outgained New Mexico in total yardage 456 to 57. All AM at the break. The Pulse, Texas AM football, is presented to you by ASCO, your place for case construction equipment in Texas. The Aggies uh, will get the sixth win of the season, now bowl eligible. They have won it tonight 55-14. to They close out the home schedule here with this victory. An uneventful second half was all A&M needed to salt away a win in the season's final home game. It's the right way for the senior class to leave Kyle Field. Mission accomplished for this week, right? Because you guys, seniors, great job tonight. All right. We owed it to you. And ODT is a team. It's your last time on Cal Field. Your memory walking off here is a good one, all right? And appreciate everybody's efforts tonight to make that happen for these guys. Let's give them a big old round of applause. Appreciate you guys, all right? Okay, so now, now what's the challenge? What's the challenge? All right, we're back in the league play. We're back in the league play. We got a lot to play for. You're bowl eligible. Now you're talking about what kind of bowl you're going to get to, all right? What kind of bowl do you want to play in? It's determined over the next couple weeks, but we got to go back to 1-0. 1-0, going on the road this week, all right? Going on the road to, to Ole Miss, back in, in SEC play. We got to come back to work tomorrow with that attitude. We got to take another step this week, all right? Got to take another step this week, and you determine what the postseason is going to be. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right? You want to go somewhere nice? 1-0 mentality. We'll handle it. Okay, 1 0. You got two league games. It starts next week. Your approach next week. Okay, how you finish this season starts tomorrow. Ah, uh, man, it means so much to me, man. All these four years, build up, the excitement playing here in Aguilar, man. I just hate to see it go. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had one more. It's, it's very emotional. Uh, you know, just so I. I really just try to soak every moment in and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, the fans and, uh, and you know, my play players and, you know, the, the coaches and everything just just for one last time at Kyle Field. It was definitely as emotional as I thought. Uh, before the game, you know, tears rolling. It's the last time in Kyle Field, but you know, I'm so thankful for the opportunity. It was an amazing night and we got a good team win. I you know, put it all on the line for them just because uh, they've done so much for this program and uh, it's definitely special to send them out the way they went out. For my last catch to be the touchdown, uh, man, it's unbelievable. Just the road that I've been on and the road that I've came down, I mean, nobody ever thought I was going to be here. So just to prove everybody wrong and to end it like I just did, man, it's unbelievable.